everyone, it's me Dennis. So, I don't know what it is about me and the whole podcast situation, but ever since fall came, I've just been very productive and I've just been working and I've also been in a podcast mood. Like, I've just been, I want to talk to you guys, all right? So, last week I posted a podcast video. It was a training video, but they're almost podcast length. So, yeah, today I'm going to talk to you guys about how to be successful on YouTube, how to make money on YouTube, how to eventually turn this into a career, be financially independent. But before I do that, I want to talk about the business that I'm currently building, which is a eBay for model horses. Um, I hope that this will turn into the new eBay for collectors, because dude, there is a need and there is a great one for the marketplaces um, from the hobby. So the marketplace's name is Model Horse Marketplace and I'm currently working alone. It's a pretty slow process because I'm alone in this and because I want all that we ever hoped for and wanted to see in a marketplace to come to life. So any constructive criticism, anything you ever wanted in a marketplace, let me know. I want to bring it to life, I want to change this hobby for the better, at least a little bit if I can. So this platform is going to be so much more than just a marketplace, it's going to be both in mobile and web, I'm currently developing the web version and it's gonna be like a social media almost. You'll be able to follow people, talk to them within the app. It's gonna be amazing. Um, if you guys wanna read more about the app, then please check out my Patreon that's gonna be linked in the description of this video. And the Patreon link is also if you want to get behind me in this project and help me develop the app. Um, your support means so much. You guys do not understand, I am alone in this and it's gonna be really expensive to develop this. Anyway, Let's get into training, and I hope you did hop on your little untrained rat horse, because we're about to talk about some cool stuff today. So, the whole thing with me and YouTube happened in such a strange way, the way that I took off on YouTube, and I do not consider myself to be a famous YouTuber, and whenever people call me famous, I cringe so bad, and I hope you guys will never call me that. Um, at Briarfest, people called me famous, and I was like, no, no. I'm very grateful for all my subscribers, 47k, I never thought I would reach that point. I'm currently at 47k subscribers, and I never thought I would get here. But famous, um, the reason I hate being called famous is because I feel like when people call me famous, they put me on a pedestal, and they make themselves seem smaller than me, like I'm superior, and I am not. I'm just like everyone else, I just make videos. That doesn't make me any better. So the word famous has this connotation in my head with superior in a sense. So that's why I do not like being called that because I do not see myself as any better than the people that are watching me and supporting me. So I will be giving a little bit of a backstory as to how I got to 47k subscribers, how I got pretty known in the community. Um, I've always had a YouTube channel ever since I was I think 11. I always recorded videos of something. At one point I was into webkins. Uh, webkins are those plushies that came with a virtual code that you could enter online and, you know, have your little plushie come to life in the game. And I was collecting those, and because I liked Webkins, I had a channel for Webkins, and just like I do now with Briars and Star Stable and whatever, all the horse stuff. I always went through a phase, and I always had a channel for that phase, and I could say I've been on YouTube like almost my whole life. This channel is the only one that was successful in a sense, the one that took off, and it was in 2015 that I posted my first video ever um, of Star Stable and then I think that for a year straight I just kept posting and I was stuck at 70 subscribers and I just kept going. I wasn't doing it for the subscribers, I was just enjoying it. Um, back then I loved Star Stable so much more than I do now and it's normal, I was way younger. I was like what, 13 I guess? It was way more fun for me to play the game back then. And one day I posted this video, a randomness video, and that video took off, dude. And that's what just... I literally went from 70 subscribers to I think 2000, which to me right now it doesn't sound like much, but back then I was like, bro, what? I can't believe it. And yeah, I just kept posting. I just kept posting. The thing that drove me to keep posting was the passion for the video game and for horses. So one advice I would have is to keep posting, even when the results don't show up, because eventually they will. And the only way to remain consistent to keep posting videos of something is if you really enjoy the thing you're talking about in your videos, the thing you're doing in your videos. And 
I think one advice I would have is to make videos of something you like. Do not make videos for money because it will show off and you will just hate your life. You really will. Um, at one point I got really sick of Star Stable and I was forcing myself to record videos and I was like, this is just not working. I'm not gonna do this. And yeah, I do make money, but I'm not gonna do it for just for money. I cannot. I'm literally not having a good time. I am not having a good time and I will not force myself to do this just for the money. So then I kind of branched out a little bit and I started making videos of different horse games like Rival Stars, Briar Videos, and slowly I got back into Star Stable. Um, and I recorded videos again. Now, it is really important to make videos of something you enjoy doing. When I started making videos in 2015, I did not even think that you could make money off of YouTube. I didn't think I knew that. And so, I just recorded them for fun. Again, I was stuck at like 70 subscribers for a year straight and I did not care. I was just enjoying creating content. I always have enjoyed creating content actually. So yeah, first advice, record videos of something you're passionate about because that is going to change everything. Are you for real, dude? I got a network error. This always happens when I finish a race, I don't know why. I think what is really going to help you blow up on YouTube is if you're gonna be bringing something different, if you're gonna bring your own pattern into the community, into the videos that you make, have your own style, your own way of being, Reveal your personality, do not try to be someone else, do not try to be pleasing everyone, that's never going to happen. When people hate me, the reason I do not get affected by that is because I also have people that I dislike and I realize, bro, this is the way that we are. You cannot like everyone, and if everyone liked me, then I would have realized there's an issue. I would have a huge issue, dude. Like, that would mean I would just be a clown, and I would just please everyone and not be actually authentic and genuine. So. I think this is like my biggest, my biggest advice. Be yourself and not in that cheesy corny way. I know it's a pretty corny saying, but there's some truth into that. And I know I said this in my last video, but I cannot emphasize this enough. I cannot stress this enough. Do not try to just be overly positive just because you're afraid of what others are going to think or say. At the end of the day, you have people you dislike in your life. So it's normal that other people will dislike you. And yeah, just bring something into the community. I think that just being yourself is going to bring something new in the community because we're all so different and our personalities vary so much. So yeah, if you're weird like me with the whole, you know, rat situation, literally calling everything a rat and making jokes about it, just do that. Yeah, it's weird. I, I'm aware that I'm, I probably went a bit over the top with, with the whole thing, but you know what I mean? Like, it's it's something that somewhat represents me in the way that I... Like, my humor, you know what I mean? And also, something that I think I'm very known for is the way that I'm very blunt and honest, and um, maybe right now I'm just transmitting that through things I'm saying, and I'm telling you to be the same way. Um, but really what I mean is just, whatever, whoever you are, just bring that on the table. Do not try to put this persona on or a facade and try to be someone else just for other people to like you. It's gonna be really tiring for you too, to be faking that all the time. And it's also gonna be pretty unfulfilling, I think. All right, let's talk about money. At the beginning of the video, I said something about how you can turn YouTube into a living or how to make this your career, I think I said. And at one point, I think it was last year, I could live off of YouTube. Um, keep in mind, I live in Romania, so doing life here is way cheaper than doing life in the US. If I were to live in the US and make the same amount of money, uh, I would not have been able to um, live off of YouTube alone. So that has changed. I no longer make as much money anymore from YouTube just because I am doing so many things at once. I'm you know, developing this business right now with the whole marketplace. I do not have time to invest as much anymore on creating content. And so that's fine. I literally don't care. I'm so happy to be able to step into what I've always wanted to step into, which is the business world. And um, it goes beyond just a the marketplace. There's a lot of projects I'm working on um, behind the scenes that I don't want to talk about just because it'd be stupid for me to talk about them and then be like, yeah, so they never happened. You know what I mean? Um, I will talk about them once. I'm sure that they will, you know, materialize. But yeah, um, YouTube can really bring a lot of money. It does depend on what videos you're creating. Um, 
most well-paid videos are the ones about finance. Those are bringing a lot of um, revenue because the RPM is so high. RPM means revenue per thousand views and it's huge. Like the RPM in the finance videos is really big and um, it makes sense. As to equipment, I have all my equipment and PC specs linked in my description if you want to check them out. Uh, my microphone, my everything, just everything. I'm also going to be recording a room tour video and a desk tour video, so I'll probably go more into depth. My graphics card is not the strongest, I do have to change that, but for Star Stable it's good enough. For Red Dead Redemption, uh, not really. You know, recording Red Dead on my computer is not that easy, which kind of sucks. It's pretty difficult just because my FPS are pretty low. And the game is really laggy, so it's not fun to record that. I think one way to grow on YouTube right now is to maybe start with TikTok. I did not do this, this was not the case for me. Just because TikTok wasn't even a thing back then when I started doing YouTube, I think it was just musically. And yeah, just the algorithm is so much more favorable for um, small TikTokers, I guess. And it's so much more easier to grow there first and then bring your audience on YouTube. Um, you could try doing that. It's a very smart way to create content on all the possible platforms and then bring them all on your YouTube channel. You can do that. You can start with Instagram Reels. Right now they're freaking exploding, dude. Like the way the algorithm works is insane. You use a very popular sound and the TikTok, I mean the Reel just gets pushed out. It's pretty cool, especially for people that want to grow their platforms or businesses. I've always been into business. But it's so funny how when I started doing YouTube, I never thought of making money. I really did not. And YouTube just turned out to be one of my um, biggest uh, revenue source. And I feel very blessed by that just because I've always loved horses and the fact that I can make money out of something that I really love. That's like, what else could I have asked for? You know what I mean? I'm really grateful for all of you guys for supporting me, for watching my videos. It means so freaking much. I think the two biggest tips that I have are, again, being yourself. I personally do not enjoy watching YouTubers that are fake, and I can sense it when they're just trying to be over the top, just screaming, being very hyped. I hated that word, um, but you know what I mean. Or people that are overly positive, they just make me cringe so bad. I know they're fake, and I don't like that. I like watching people that are just talking to me as if they were talking to a friend, as if like, dude, if I meet them in real life, they're almost the exact same. And yes, there are some things all YouTubers do, and it just becomes a reflex, and we do some things that we wouldn't normally do in real life, maybe. I don't know. Things we say, um, the way we word things, the way we... I don't know what it is, but there is something that comes with doing YouTube that is different, something you wouldn't have if you didn't do YouTube. And I can't explain what it is, but I know... Even people in real life told me this, that when I record videos, I sometimes sound different, or I do some things that are like typical for YouTubers, and that's normal. But what I mean is do not be fake, do not try to put this facade on. Um, to be like, you know, really overly positive and to be like, you know, family friendly, everyone loves me and whatever. Do not do that. That's just lame. People don't want to watch that. And the second tip, record and make videos of something you're passionate about. Do not do it for the money because it's gonna show, it's gonna become very tiring, you're gonna like drag yourself to record a new video and you're gonna hate your life. Don't do that. Make it fun. Talk about something you're really passionate about, something you'd be able to talk about for hours with your friends in real life. And yeah, the money's gonna come from there, but that should not be your first, um, your first objective. If you guys wanna read more about the marketplace that I'm building, then please check my Patreon, there's a lot of info there. If you wanna see some work in progress pictures, you can go there again. Um, follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Dennis Weistorm, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone.